Have mercy. Here with Jimmy Lovingood, a purveyor of deliciousness from the Premier Builders Guild, bringing to the fore several delicious guitar and amplificators, as they say. That's a technical term, by the way. Oh, glad be, I learned that today. Don't be afraid of the power <laughs> of the shirt. Sometimes it intimidates people, but you're a man. Not so much. And a, and a swordsman, <laughs> and that's important. Uh, I am playing a Fano guitar. I love these Fano guitars. That Dennis Fano, he's a warrior. He I is bet, a warrior. You know what? I bet he has a shirt like this, too. Uh, he's probably got two. See? <laughs> mm, that's the way we like to spread it around. Now, this particular weapon, the RB6, man, this is a chocolatey weapon right here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what it all comes available in and all the different dream scenarios that exist. Many different options for this. First of all, let me say I'm glad the guitar lesson I gave you this morning paid off on that intro. Well, I appreciate it sounded it great. Well. So. Thank you. Um, now, there's many different options of the Fanos. Um, body woods, this one here is a swamp ash. Comes in alder, mahogany, swamp ash, or carina. Neck woods, mahogany, maple, or carina. Fingerboards, rosewood or maple. Uh, many different pickup configurations as well. You see two P90s here, Fralin P90s. We can also do humbuckers. We can do TB Jones. Um, you could even mix and match. You could do a P90 and a humbucker in this thing. That's so crazy talk. It is crazy talk. But many different options. Um, what we like to say is no two fanos are ever alike. There's mm -hmm. so many different options. So many pickguard options as well. Probably a good 10 to 15 different pickguards we can put on here. Different knobs that go with the different woods and colors. Uh, different colors, switch tips. Um, we can do two-tone colored headstocks. This one here happens to be black and a vintage amber. We could go different uh, two colors as well, solid colors, uh, trans colors. So many different options. Like I said, one of the big things about the Fano is no two alike. Indeed. Because also, we do different distressing levels. All Fanos are distressed. This one here is an extra light distress, I believe, or very light. Yes. Um, but we could go all the way from extra light, which is just real checking, just checking done to the to the finish, lacquer finish, or we could do heavy and run it over with a computer. Utterly defiled, want, right? as yeah. it's called. Take it behind a truck, you know, down the street. So, uh, point being is that. Again, no two are alike, and these things can just, we can really customize each and every one of these. All Ooh. handmade in a Royal Grande, California. A Royal Grande. A Royal Grande. That's a bold sounding <laughs> moniker to a place. <laughs> now, tell us a little bit about this 16, what do we call that? 16 position tone styler. Now. Tone styler. It's an, it's an analog tone pot, goes 16 different positions. Just gives you so many different varieties of sounds that you can really choose from. I'm just gonna hit it's a really, chord and hit it. Yeah. Some kind of a roaring mechanism. Yes, it it's is. It's very, very cool. I like it. Yeah. All these little increments of tone. You go from real light, real like tender sounding all the way to some real grit in there and just really get a lot coming out of those uh, pickups. So, Savagery, if you will. Yeah, I mean, it just gives you so much diversity of the, for the guitar. I don't know if you're aware of it, but it's Fano in Latin means savagery. <laughs> I story. didn't know that. <laughs> it's implied. <laughs> kind of in uh, the dictionary I have anyway. Well, thank you so much for giving us the lowdown on this splendiferous specimen. And uh, we'll see you in further videos, which will be coming up so soon it'll be almost crazy. All right, good. Thank you. Jimmy Lovingood from Premier Builders Guild. I'm Greg Cock. We'll see you later. <laughs>